Hello Aries and welcome to the channel. This is going to be your weekly energy reading. This reading is going to carry you through the energy of the 14th of the month of the 21st. Um, remember, this is a timeless reading and the dates are for me, but the messages are for you. Now, I have taken the liberty of shuffling for your energy oracle card for this week because I have a couple of um, important astrological things to point out. If you don't mind me doing that for a couple of seconds. So first and foremost, this week's this week is jam packed with um, astrological um, aspects and things that are going on in the sky. And um, this is a week on my channel that I call our transition week. All right. So that means that we're going to be transitioning out of the energy of Taurus into the energy of Gemini. And in a nutshell, what it means is this that is just that we are going from one to the next. All right. One zodiac energy to the next. Let's get started. So Mercury will station direct on 515. Jupiter will be moving in the sign of Taurus. That's going to be um, a little over a year from 516, 2023 through 524 of 2024. There's going to be a new moon in Taurus happening on 519. We will do a moon pools um, as well as a podcast on that. All right. It is going to be a audio slash video recording. That is what I've been doing lately to save time. And then we will be experiencing the star of the week. I don't know how much of a star it is, but um, the transition itself, which is Gemini season will begin. That's going to take place between, on the 20th uh, through the 21st uh, when the zodiac sign starts. OK, when the season starts. And that is that. And so your card for this week, Aries, is message in the bottle and an energy of 15. One plus five is six. Message in a bottle. So this is a very poetic message. But in a nutshell, message in the bottle is talking about communication. <laughs> a sign. Um, this is... Um, what the, the book is talking about a sign communication or a cledon. This is an ancient name for a spontaneous Oracle delivered innocently by the speaker pointing your way to its highest good. Interestingly enough, I spoke to an Aries moon this morning. Um, and he did say that he thinks that his mom is trying to communicate with him because he is dreaming about her and he knows that when she comes to him in a dream, his beloved mom, who is no longer with us, um, he knows that she's trying to communicate something. So pay attention to your dreams. What I told him and like I'm going to tell all of you, um, pay attention to those dreams, guys. As soon as you wake up, start utilizing that voice recorder on your phone. I've been telling you guys in my classes um, and things that I've done for you guys over the years, that that's the best way to retain energy. All right. So message in the bottle, it may be a very spiritual week for you, but let's find out what the Tarot has to say about other things that may be taking place in your life this week. Aries, sun, moon, rising, Venus. And this is for Aries. What do we have for Aries? Okay. So nine cups. So this is going to be a week of fulfillment for you. Um, you're going to be um, really experiencing an energy of, uh oh, so turning things around, um, using the um, all of the art, the energy, the tools in your arsenal to manifest what you want. Um, my card of sex is here. All right. We got double sixes. Um, something is going to be crashing down, maybe a way of thinking. All right. Maybe a way of thinking. Six of cups. This, that's the lover. Six of wands. This is the tower. Um, and, and king of wands is the magician in this deck. Um, so it looks like. All right. You got a lot of major arcana as well. So, yes, there is the unknown. There is that um, high priestess. Um, yes, th this could very well mean that somebody is trying to speak to you this week. Um, my card of sex, my nine of, 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 of cups is here. Um, attainment, um, achieving something, not in a, not in a nine of pentacles type of way, but this is wishes fulfilled my wish card. And this is going to be 
something that you wanted to happen, um, Aries, that's going to be taking place this week. Um, in the heart place, it is very clear that um, this is something that makes you happy. Um, something from the past, someone from the past, old feelings resurfacing. Um, maybe during Mercury retrograde, you took a step back. You've been thinking maybe the message in the bottle is about this deep spiritual connection um, that you have with this individual. Um, again, that is in the energy of six as well. So sixes brings cooperation and harmony as well. Um, obviously balance. So it could be that you have two sixes here. So balancing things that need to no longer, um, that no longer serve you. Okay. Um, and looking at the success and the acclaim that will, what that, that you would get in an energy of a six of wands, balancing that with, so this feels like very much so, um, Aries, this Aries Libra, um, upcoming nodal shift that we're going to be, uh, that's going to be taking place in July. This is some of the makings of that. So if you look at this, it's going to definitely be my heart versus, you know, me with another person, two sets of eyes here versus me by myself, the success and the claim and the acclaim and the sense of accomplishment that I get from, you know, being accomplishing alone or with another person. This is already starting. All right. So you're already starting because the South Node is going to be in Libra and the North Node is going to be in Aries. Um, so it's that that axis is about myself versus others, me versus a committed relationship, doing things for myself versus doing things with the other. And I believe that that's shifting. OK, that whole me wanting to be by myself thing is coming to a close. Um, you're going to start to look at this individual that you love already. Um, you, de you guys are definitely going to be speaking this week. Um, could definitely be intimate this week. We do have you juggling more than one area of your life. You feel like maybe, you know, you, you've carried this load by yourself uh, too long. You know, two, two pinnacles you've been juggling. And maybe you just don't want to do that anymore. You know, um, the individual that I was talking to was talking about all of the two of pentacles type things, juggling more than one area of his life, you know, getting this done, getting that done. Where does it leave time for love? So it looks like that's actually going to be um, one of those things that you think about this week. All right. Um, and it could be something that um, has very much so long term effects. Uh, me versus another is always going to be an Aries uh, type thing because that's just what comes with being an Aries. You know, when um, is, is it going to be enough about me and I'm going to start to focus on, you know, another person and let someone else in. In the past, it was an energy of the Queen of Pentacles. So you've known um, for some time that this individual, according to where your cards are going, um, is, is that for you. Um, this individual is someone that you should invest in because it looks like this individual has invested in you. Um, that's that beautiful commitment. And this person is nurturing and there for you. However, at the top of the deck, we do have three swords. So this also feels like these two sixes could indicate that it's the end of temptation. It's the end of you know, um, feeling accomplished when you, you know, had more than one lover because it's not just about the deep spiritual connection with the nut with, with one. It also talks about, especially with this being my wish fulfilled, um, and my, uh, my card of access or my sex card with this nine of cups, this, this six of cups and, or the lovers could talk about the end of lovers. No more bringing heartbreak to the person that I love. You know, no more bringing heartbreak to people that came in and tried to love me. It could be that thinking about trying to do that. But there are definitely three swords. If it doesn't pertain to you that way, then this is what's around you. So this is being done to you or this is something that has already taken place. And you're definitely thinking about it. Three swords It's not just the third party situation as indicated um, in this in the heart. All right. So this is this this lovers is in the heart place. Three swords, three eyes. You see what I'm saying? But 
it could also indicate that either you were on the receiving end of that and you're and that's coming to a close or you have been the um, you have uh, you have either been on the receiving end of that or you've been the one that's been doing this and that is about to stop. OK, we're going to take a look at what remains in the second. I do want to talk about the fact that, you know, this could indicate heartbreak. All right. Let's quickly get through what remains here. All right. The magician remains. The lovers remain. The tower remains. So we're going to put these two in the center. We're going to put these two on the end. All right. That is what we're dealing with. All right. So we have the lovers, the magician, the tower and the high priestess. If I can get this together and I'm going to give you one additional oracle card. So it looks like something is definitely that was done in the dark. It's coming to light, but not only coming to light, coming to an end. And the shocking end at that shocking revelations. This stops girl with the snake. Have you been charmed? Have you been used? Have people um, have you been enabled? Maybe that's what those people do. They bring energy and validate your ego. But they've been using you. That's about to change. That's about the end. Okay. What remains is the lovers, the magician, the tower and high priestess. Like, share and subscribe to the marvelous tribe. You will get a sign. You will get this sign and that will let you know that this is coming to a close. Like, share, subscribe to the marvelous tribe. Always a pleasure, Aries. Let me know how you feel about this in the, in, in the comments below and I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.